Well, today uh, I'm with Terry Mullins with the Central Alabama Electric Cooperative, and uh, Terry is going to tell us about the advantages of our switching in our homes to a fluorescent light bulb over a traditional light bulb and the energy savings with that. Terry, t talk to us a little bit about the, uh, the, uh, the advantages and the energy efficiencies of fluorescent lighting. The compact fluorescent light, the CFL as we call them, they're just, the way they're, they're made and designed, they're going to save you quite a bit on your energy bill. Uh, if you change out your entire house, uh, all, all the bulbs in your home, you're going to probably save a, around 25% of your, of your total lighting bill. Not your power bill, but your lighting bill. And, but not only are you saving on, on the energy that you use, a regular incandescent bulb creates quite a bit more heat than a CFL does, a compact fluorescent. So not only are you saving on the energy that you're saving with the light bulb, but you're, you're cutting down on how much you're heating your house. If you, if you have a room with five or six light bulbs in it, you are creating a tremendous amount of heat that you're putting into your house extra that a CFL is not going to do. You walk into most of your motels now that you walk into your business centers, when you walk in and, and turn on a light bulb in a motel room, you're turning on a CFL. Uh, you know, these people have, you know, they've, they've gotten pretty smart and they, and of course you're talking about a lot of lights in a, in a motel. So they know the, the savings that, that are there. But you can, it's a tremendous savings, like I said, not only in the, in the power that you use, but in the heat you create in your home. Well, for those who are taking a look at this and they're kind of science oriented, what is it that fluorescent light bulb is doing that's energy efficient that the regular light bulb is not? We have a demonstration where we have a 60 watt uh, incandescent bulb. We have a CFL compact fluorescent. This compact fluorescent is actually 14 watts and compared to 60 watts. And of course you have the meter here. You turn the, you turn the 60 watt on and you can see the wheel and see how fast that's turning. And that's, how, how, that's how much power that 60 watt is using. You can turn it off and and you can you can touch that bulb and you can feel the heat on there now. You can go to this bulb. It's gonna take this bulb a few seconds to reach its peak lighting power, its lumens that it's gonna produce. And this bulb is 14 watt. It's gonna put out as much light as this is. But it's gonna do it and it's not gonna get hot and it's gonna use less electricity. Let me ask you this, Terry. The, the people who are watching this are going to say, well, where can I get these fluorescent bulbs? Dixie Electric, Central Alabama Electric, several of the co-ops are, are in the state are, are selling them uh, to their consumers now. And But you can go to Lowe's, you can go to Home Depot. Most all your outlets now that handle light bulbs, they're beginning to ha handle these bulbs. And, of course, the CFL, you know, the, the, the people that make the light bulbs, they're beginning to make them in multiple ways now because you have you have uh, you have what we call can lights, recess lights, and this bulb here is not, you know, it's not something that, that a lady of the house is going to want to stick out, and so but they're beginning to make different type bulbs now uh, that decorative bulbs to go in bathrooms, decorative bulbs to go in the can lights, and uh, different different types of bulbs. They even have now. Uh, a three-way bulb uh, in, in the compact, compact fluorescent. So they're beginning to come out as, as this market, as the, 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 the demand increases, they're beginning to produce different type of bulbs in the CFL to accommodate pretty well anything in your home.